Hey YouTube, it's Street Top here. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate you guys following along on the channel. Um, today I want to share with you something that I run across, and it would it is it has to do with causing concentricity issues the way you use the press. And this is specifically a press that has stops in the linkage. And I think quite a few of them do. I've seen the RCBS has it. Uh, I'm pretty sure all the Lee presses have it. And this goes back to um, this goes back with me for a while. I built a Grendel back in the summer and I've been chasing some accuracy issues with it and just trying to, you know, really dial down uh, and make a, you know, better, better quality ammunition and find accuracy. And one of the things I did is you may notice I monetized the channel about 10 months ago, no, about a year ago, and I finally got enough views and enough revenue to buy my first item to put back into the channel, which was this uh, RCBS Case Master for check and bullet run out. <laughs> so right away I came in and I'm like, I got it, you know, and uh, I started checking my rounds that I was making for the Grinnell and they were pretty out of alignment, pretty bad, to be honest with you. And I've always reloaded them on this uh, on this classic cast press, thinking that it was more accurate and uh, and probably a little more solid, uh, tolerances are a little tighter, things like that. So, um, anyway, what I found was so I had bullet run out that was so bad I could see it by just rolling it in the V block on the uh, case master. I didn't even need the the gauge to tell me I was I had a problem. So I started chasing around looking for what that might be. I was looking at, I, I thought maybe it was the um, Hornady die I was using. Um, I thought maybe the press was out of alignment. I thought maybe I got a bump press. A lot of different stuff. I, I thought maybe the, uh, what do they call it? The, uh, the breech lock bushings were, were loose or you know allowing movement. I don't know, I, I just systematically went through it. And one thing I tried was I tried marking the cases and putting them in the same way each time, seating the bullet, and then I would check concentricity. And what I found was they were always out the same way. So eventually I ended up rotating the die and it still didn't change anything. That led me to believe that my problem lied with the press. So again, I eventually noticed that when I came down hard on the stops, which I was inclined to do, sort of a technique thing, I would, I would just firmly hit the stops. I noticed that the, the ram would shift left and right, or fore and aft, by about 10 thousandths at the extreme movement. And what I believe was happening, it's a little hard to kind of dial down, but what I believe was happening was that my use of the stops and the amount of pressure I was putting on it was preloading the ram left and right right at the point where I'm finishing seating the bullet and causing me to, you know, put a little, put a little, you know, sort of bend in it. Uh, so to prove that, well, let me, let me just back up. So what, what is happening there is if you, if you can see the press there, hopefully you can, hopefully you can make that out. You see the press, you see that the motion is, is really nice and axial. It's it's moving all. There's no side loads on the on the ram, so it's able to just glide on the lubrication and and go freely into place. But once you hit the stops, now the mechanical the total mechanical leakage changes, and it puts a side load or radial load on the on the uh, on the bottom of the ram, which gives you a proportional movement to the top of the ram. So if you're if you're shoving on it, I could actually measure up to 10 thousandths movement when it's up at the top. Not helpful. <laughs> uh, so just to prove that, I separated the links and I put some bushings in there so that I couldn't hit the stops and I converted the press to an, a uh, cam over style press, which actually is kind of an interesting idea, but I digress. Um, and what, and what I proved after that is without putting in a side load or a radial load on, on the ram by hitting the stops, I was much more concentric in, in the ammunition. 
And for a while I thought, you know what, I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm going to make it like that. Or I might even cut these nubs off and permanently turn it into a cam over press. But then I, I thought, why don't I try this with just being a little more aware of my technique and just touch when I come to the bottom. Just use it as a reference point instead of a physical stop. And after doing that, I didn't have any more problems. So what I learned was, one, there is a value to cam over presses more than just the pressure that you're able to apply to the round. It actually never puts a radial load on the shaft, which is good for the press and probably good for uh, accuracy. Two, I also learned that my technique sucked. And I've been doing it like that for a long time. <laughs> Putting way more force on it than I needed to. And uh, probably causing myself accuracy issues that I didn't need to. So anyway, I, I thought I'd share that with you uh, with humility. <laughs> and tell you that, uh, that might, maybe that's something that if you're having issues, maybe you haven't even measured it. Maybe you're just having some accuracy issues. Maybe, you know, take that to note and change your technique a little bit. And see if you don't improve your uh, your groups, group sizes, or the quality of ammunition that you're making. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I appreciate you guys sticking with the channel. Uh, all the views, like I said, help me actually put some money back into the channel, uh, which I intend to do. Is the whole reason I monetize it. There, uh, very few people going to get rich making <laughs> YouTube videos. I can tell you, and especially after uh, YouTube demonetizes anything that's gun related. Uh, they got little bots that run around and and find you when you said the word 223 or something like that and then they're the little bots turn you off and if you don't have enough viewing they won't even they won't even uh, they won't even take a look at it. So anyway, I appreciate you guys uh, watching the channel. I don't know where this is going but I do like to share things with you and uh, it's kind of a cool format and we'll keep it going. So treetop out, like it, subscribe. Thanks for watching.